Hi, my name is Grant. Welcome to the installation video for the Ashen Mod Pack. So to start out with, you're going to want a clean JC4 folder. So this, if, if it's clean, it should look like what I've got here. If it doesn't, the easiest way to get it to look like what I've got here and back to clean is to select everything but the archives win64 directory and delete everything except the archives win64 directory. And then you can verify the files in Steam. This will, doing this will cut down your download size to around 500 megabyte compared to 60 gigabyte for reinstalling the game. So once you have a stock JC4 folder, you need to go and download both the mod and the Ashen mod launcher. Now links to both of these will be in the video description. Once you have these downloaded, you want, you'll have two files. You have the Ashen Mod Pack and the Mod Launcher. You want to extract both of these archives. Next, we need to install the Mod Launcher. So we go into the Mod Launcher directory and run the jc4config.exe. You'll now need to select your jc4 folder. The mine is in here, just cause 4, and then you select OK. Now that this has come up, you want to press Install Mods. If everything goes successfully, you'll get this message. If anything goes wrong, you can press the button here to join our Discord, and get in contact with me and I'll help you sort the problem out. Once you've installed this, you can close this window. Next, go back to this folder and go into the Ashen Mod Pack folder. Now you'll want to copy everything in here into the Just Cause 4 folder, like that. And now you can go and run the game from Steam and it will load with all the mods and everything running on it. Okay then, once you're in the game you'll be able to instantly tell if the mods are loading correctly by the overlay in the top left hand corner. You'll also be able to tell if the drop zone's working properly because of the longer range grapple. By default it only usually goes out to about sort of the end or so. Whereas in this one it goes to about sort of three times that distance. Okay then. So there's other videos that have stated what the what's available in this mod pack, but I'll do a quick run through it. So on F2 to F9, you can use F2 to F9, you have spawn commands. Now these are customizable. I'll get to that in a bit later in the video. Entity spawner is still fully functional. We can go world time zero, make it night. You can view what you've currently got it set up as by pressing the switch. So it'll give you all your key bonds. So to customize them, you need to go into your Just Cause 4 folder and open up the Ashen config file. You open this up with Notepad, and there's basically a list, the list of things here. Now, in, now, you only want to touch what's in the quote marks here, so in this case, barrel fuel, or in this case, what I've got highlighted there. If you touch anything else, you'll break it, and the game will likely crash on startup. Now, you can replace what I've put in quotes here, with anything that comes up in the help menu when you type spawn into the JC4 console. You can put any of these in. Say I wanted to 
Change it. Change. Change the what's it? Change the fuel barrels to spawn toy carts. Or the toy, or is it toy jeeps? And type zero fifth. Basically, copy the name. Toy jeep underscore. And save this and reload the game. I'll close the game and relaunch it. And now, if you've done everything right, the game will launch and F2 will now be bound to spawning toy jeeps rather than, civilian, rather than fuel barrels. You can make this spawn weapons, what's it, what's it, weapons, enemies, pretty much anything. Yeah, anything really. Anything that comes up on the spawn list, you can spawn you can put into here and it'll it'll spawn basically. Anyway. Okay, so now we're back in game. Then F2. Oh look, some toy jeans. 